Okay, so I'm gonna wear this new hair tonight. I feel like I should be doing the um that challenge. Was it called the DMX challenge? <laughs> Cause the way I'll be changing up these wigs sometimes, I'm telling you. But this is from Hair Vivi and it's super curly and cute and it is um of course of course, the fake scalp, because you know I love these wigs, they're so easy to just put on and go. And look at the hairline, it's already done, already bleached, it's perfect. Look at it, look at it, look at that. Can you see that? Look at that. Oh, pretty. Okay, so I'm going to cut the lace. So I'm going to show you how I cut the lace, you guys. And a lot of people make a lot of mistakes when they cut their lace, because they cut it too close, they cut it too far. <sighs> You don't want to be making mistakes because that's what people are going to see. So I start from the bottom and because this is kind of already done for you, you don't have to do much. You just need to follow the hairline. Don't cut the baby hairs. That is a mistake that people make. They cut way too close to the hairline and they end up messing up the wig. So don't cut the hairline, okay? The easiest way to cut the lace is to put it on a mannequin, on a wig head, a wig block, and then cut alongside it. But if you're pro, if you're good at it, you can cut it mid-air. You know, like if you're in your hotel room and you're getting ready for a date night, then you could just do the damn thing. <laughs> and try to go slow. Don't just cut straight one line across the head. It doesn't look good. Try to go in and out with the hairline. Now because this is a lace wig and it has a fake scalp, I can just go ahead and put it on. I don't need to put a wig cap or anything. But one thing that would make your wig look unrealistic is if you had some big fat corners in the back. You can see my corners are pretty flat. If you had huge corners, your wig would sit up and it wouldn't look right. There'd be too much space in between. So you want to make sure that your corners are as flat to your head as possible. This could be flatter, but this is like the lazy version of flat. Though we got things to do, we ain't got time to be wasting flat. Another thing you want to make sure that your wig sits flat on your head, you want to make sure that you do, is to check the ear pieces. Now usually there's a piece here, see that? That is going over my ear. That's not good, so we need to cut that and make sure it fits around my ear. That bit of lace right there. Don't be afraid to cut into the lace, people. It's fine. There we go. I need to make sure that I put a little bit of got to be glued spray here to hold the hairline in place. You don't have to, but as you can see, it's laying pretty flat, so you really don't have to, but I want to. So it's down. While that is drying, I'm going to style the rest of the hair. Okay, so the wig is stuck down. Another mistake that people make is to not set their hair with a satin scarf. When you set those edges, when you lay down your wig, it looks so good. And, and it makes sure that that lace is secure and melted into your skin. So it looks really realistic. So I'm, I'm just going to curl the hair right now. And just, just a tiny bit. Don't really need to do much. Just the ends. When I say just the ends, I literally mean just the ends. I think this looks better than just falling apart. See like that little curl? That looks better to me. So, and well, I'm in a rush, so I don't have time to be doing my whole head. Um, but we can make it look cute, you know? Rooney's already dressed and he's looking Now when you take the scarf off, you gotta make sure that you clean the edges. Make sure that there's no glue on your forehead because when you take photos and videos, it looks really shiny and you can see where your glue is. So make sure you clean it up and use some of your foundation or your setting powder 
and just dab that into the edges to make sure that it blends with your skin. Telling you all the secrets today. Okay, so my hair is done, you guys. Okay, so my hair is done, you guys. Right? I don't even have lashes. I don't have lashes. Oh my god. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna put my dress. Okay, guys, and this is my look for tonight. I'm not wearing any longer earrings, although I wanted to, but I can't find them, so. Um, I'm wearing gold, and I didn't want to wear silver earrings, so I guess we're just not wearing earrings. We're just going to wear these little studs, but these would look so cute if they were. <laughs> but they're not gold, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This is the look, you guys. See how this hair just pulled everything together in 10 minutes? Yeah, I don't know if I was in focus or not, so I'll do that again for you guys so you can see everything. But this is what it looks like on the back. Front. This dress is from Pretty Little Thing. I'll show you guys a full look of that. And Rooney is looking like... Hot shit. <laughs> Hot shit? Okay, all right. I've never heard that expression before. <laughs> so, I guess we're going to dinner. This is the little outfit that we get. Mm -hmm. We look nice and sexy as usual. <laughs> 